an embarrassment for the Democrats on both coasts. Far-left candidates are taking over. They may be elected, but they spell trouble for the Democrat Party. Start with the 28-year-old socialist who recently beat a high-ranking Democrat in a primary in New York City. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez did a TV interview. She talked about the occupation of Palestine. To her, Israel is not a valid state. It is an occupier. She was pressed by the interviewer. She retreated, floundered, saying she didn't know much about geopolitics. However, she has a degree in international relations from a prestigious university in Boston. Asked about the low unemployment, high growth economy, she complained that people have to have two jobs and can still barely make ends meet. Well, she is the new darling of the Democrats. She's almost certain to win a seat in Congress. Trouble for any middle-of-the-road Democrat, if there are any left. On the West Coast, moderate Democrats just took a big hit. Dianne Feinstein, uh, Feinstein was badly beaten in a vote within the California party. She was beaten by Kevin DeLeon. He's running for her Senate seat. Mr. DeLeon is the force behind California sanctuary state movement, and he's the man allowing illegals to get a driver's license. He's a total open borders kind of guy. He may not win, but his strong showing means a big split among Democrats. It's a fascinating political season. President Trump has a pretty firm grip on his party. The GOP is united behind his successful growth agenda, but the Democrats are badly divided between left and far left. And now, under scrutiny, some of their more extreme positions just don't stand up. Four months to the election.